Hey, what's up you guys? It's Charter Miss Prime here doing my second movie review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to talk about this movie like you guys already saw it. It's Wednesday morning, it's about 5.30 in the a.m. Uh, I saw the 12.01 showing here in Daly City and, um, and yeah, it's fucking late, man. But fuck, dude, the movie was fucking cool, man. I actually really, I, I really liked it. I have shit to bitch about, which I, of course I'm going to bitch, you know, and, um, but things were really, really cool. Optimus Prime, man. Optimus Prime, dude. Fucking sick as fuck, man. So badass. That scene in the forest, he's whooping the shit out of Megatron, Starscream, and the Blackout, but it's not Blackout, I guess. Oh, man, that was fucking dope as fuck. I mean, he gets slaughtered, you know, and he dies, but fuck, dude, it's so fucking cool. I, I, I don't know, I thought Optimus was really fucking sick. Megatron, I thought Megatron was really fucking dope, because in the first movie, the only time you really see, I mean, first off, I, I was always pissed off that they made him a Cybertronian jet, lame, right, but they made him a, a Cybertronian tank, you know, a lot cooler, especially because the G2 figures, he's a tank, you know, and his right, and he has his, his uh, fusion cannon, you know, so he's constantly using that thing in the movie, very fucking cool, got me really cranked, you know, fucking doing some more G1 type of shit. That was very cool, and Optimus had his two swords, which is a little different, but I thought that was really, really cool, especially cutting the shit out of fucking uh, Decepticons and shit. Really, very really fucking cool. Um, uh, there was some... Uh, I'm trying to talk about all the shit that I liked about the movie before I start bitching about the other shit, but uh, it's always fun to watch people complain more than talk about shit they like, right? So, overall, I'll give the movie a B plus. okay? So, I thought that the movie was cool, alright? Um... I thought Sideswipe was really cool. Um, RC, I didn't like what they did with RC because she didn't combine, and I thought she was going to combine, especially with the original concept where she was just going to be the one purple motorcycle, but for some reason they split her into three, and three weak motorcycles that really didn't do anything but just die individually. I thought that was kind of lame. Um, the, uh, yeah, the action, there's a lot more robots. The movie's two and a half hours long, and I want to say, oh, Jetfire was really cool. That's another thing. So the movie's two and a half hours long, and it feels like it's two and a half hours long. I want to say that it felt like it went by faster, but it, it really didn't. It was, it was, it's a long movie. But Jetfire is really cool, um, because they basically, I mean, they didn't make it exactly, exactly, but, you know, Jetfire is friends with Starscream, so Jetfire and Starscream are buddies, and I can't remember exactly if Jetfire was already, I'm talking G1 shit, if uh, he was already on Earth or if he just landed or whatever. But Starscream and the Decepticons are the first ones to get to him. And they're buddies before the Civil War starts and everything. And they're both scientists. And um, so Jetfire first becomes a Decepticon because, you know, Starscream gets to him first and everything. And then later on, you know, his conscience tells him that, oh, this is all bad and he becomes an Autobot. Similar thing with the, what they did with the movie, because they see the Decepticon logo on him and they freak out, like, oh shit, he's a Decepticon. But, no, Jetfire is actually, he's, he switched sides. So, and that's the first time you see that in the movie runs, that, you know, these guys could actually switch sides. So that was pretty cool. And then Wheelie does the same thing. Even though Wheelie never had that, I think. I think Wheelie was just always an Autobot. But, um, yeah, and, and I thought Jetfire was really cool. I like how Jetfire combined with Optimus, you know, that was different, but I thought it was pretty dope. Um, Devastator, um, I'm trying to think of the other stuff that I thought was cool, okay. Oh, um, the actor, the human actors I thought were really, really good. I thought, I, I wasn't, you know, because I go to these movies to see robots fighting in cars and planes and stuff, but, um, the, I re especially really liked the, uh, Sam's parents. I thought those two people are really good actors. Um, Megan Fox is fucking finer than a motherfucker. She's got hairy legs. She has hairy legs, dude. I saw fucking hair, saw sunlight going on those legs, and uh, I don't know about that shit, but hey, I'd fuck the shit out of her if she let me, or I'd let her fuck me. I guess she's a sex addict. I hear I hear somewhere she's a fucking, she, she loves fucking getting rammed. But, um, so yeah, I wouldn't pass that shit up, you know, in a second. But, um, yeah, so there's, like, really, really cool things. A lot of slow-mo jiggly titties, you know? A lot of that. Fucking tell Michael Bay's fucking, you know, watching that shit. Like, oh, yeah, run slower. Let's put that in slow-mo. Fucking all over the keyboard in the editing room. But, um, yeah, some things I didn't really like is Devastator kind of pissed me off. I didn't like how Devastator did not... Uh, Devastator was very confusing because he's six 
robots that each individually transform. So six construction vehicles, each individually transform, and they could also transform into the mighty Devastator, okay? So they each have three transformations, basically, right? Well, what they did in the movie is that you see, trans you see Devastator merge, right? And, for instance, the dump truck, long haul, forms the right leg. Well, they cut, after he merges into Devastator, they cut to a different scene, and you see long haul fucking running around in his robot form, shooting at bad guys, or shooting at the Autobots, and shooting at people and shit, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? You're over there! You're the right leg! How can you be over here, but over there you're the right leg? Like, what the fuck? And then later on, they show Rampage, the fucking uh, bulldozer. He's bouncing around fighting Bumblebee. And then they show Mixmaster. I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah. wait. They fucking, what they did was they took the six construction vehicles. That forms Devastator, and that's all they do. And then they have the four, I guess, uh, Demolisher, Rampage, Mixmaster, and Long Haul. And those four don't merge dev merge into Devastator, they just turn into robots. Lame. I didn't like that. I thought it would have been really, really cool if they had just made it do it like G1 style. Especially because that's what I thought was going to happen, because in the trailers you see them individually transform into robots, and you also see Devastator, so it really made me believe that that's what I was going to get. Didn't get it. You're not going to see that. I think it was because of the toys, I don't know what, but... That was disappointing. Starscream War Paint. I thought that fucking sucked, especially because Tyrese points it out like, oh, that's not one of ours. That's a fucking. It's got Cybertronian War Paint on him. That's got to be a Decepticon. And then, um. And then the fucking human Decepticon. I thought that, what? Like, you can take a fucking. Dece Decepticons can transform into humans? I've never seen that before in Transformers history. I could be wrong. I don't know everything about Transformers. But that made it happen before, and I just don't remember. But I didn't like it, okay? I just didn't fucking like it. Um, and then uh, Mudflap and Skids, you know, these two, you know, the twins, right? These two guys. Dude, somebody in the writing crew of Transformers doesn't like black people, man. You know what I mean? I'm not black, so I'm not going to take it hella personal like. But at the same time, I fucking didn't notice. Jazz dies in the first one. Only Autobot that dies is the fucking Black Jazz, who's my favorite after Optimus Prime and Starscream. <laughs> And then, um, and then these two guys are fucking ghetto-ass fucking, trying to make them fucking ghetto black dudes. Like, what the fuck? It, it just didn't really make sense to me, like, and it didn't even sound like they're, I mean, it would have been cooler if they'd gotten black voice actors or something. It sounded like some white dudes trying to sound ghetto black, and it just didn't fucking look cool. It didn't come off as very funny to me. I didn't find much humor in it. I guess it was just for the kids, you know what I mean? But, uh, and then those two die, too. So it's like, all the black characters die, right? Except for Tyrese. So, uh, and then, uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about bitching about the movie. Uh, The Fallen, I've never really cared much about The Fallen. I don't read the Transformers comics. I mean, I have all Hail Megatron, but besides that, I don't read it. So it's like, I guess The Fallen, I guess they just had to have him in there to, uh, just to write more about the movie and whatnot. But I'm going to see the movie again in IMAX. So I want to see it in IMAX this weekend. Um, I missed the IMAX, so I will see it again, and, uh, apparently there's supposed to be an extra minute of Devastator in there. I'm a huge fan of De Devastator, the only six-piece combiner out there, so he's badass. Um, I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Sideswipe was cool. I don't know the name of the blue car, but he seemed really, really cool, but I don't, I don't remember getting an introduction, and I don't remember the name of the character or anything, but that blue Autobot seemed cool. I think they should have ordered in more Autobots because I think often they send out a signal to get more Autobots because the Decepticons ordered hell more Decepticons, but no more Autobots ever came. I don't think, and it was hell long until Ratchet had any lines. Um, I really, really liked the Megatron Starscream banter going back and forth. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff before I run out of time because this is like my second time, second or third time shooting this video. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to end it right there. I have nothing else to say. I give it B, B+. Plus. Cool movie. I'm going to go watch it again. I got my fucking Optimus Prime figure. Woo. So, stoked about that. Uh, oh, Soundwave was okay. I already mentioned that he's Dr. Claw, right? Okay, I think I'm milking it, you guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.